How do you feel about all of the recent Mad Gear drama? Code Rocks in at checkout. We're live. What's up guys? Welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. My name's Liv, if you don't already know me. Before we start the video, I would recommend hitting that subscribe button. It's super easy, probably the best decision you'll make. This channel is pumping out hella content videos three times a week. If I'm not like away, I'll be at Woodward traveling, stuff like that. But I do have some news for the plans for this summer. So basically, I'm going to Woodward weeks 8 and 12 this year. So I will be putting out content there. I might schedule a few videos to go out while I'm there. But if not, just know that there will be content after that. Then I'm also going to San Diego for two days, July 20th to 23rd, or 21st to 23rd, something like that. And I'm going to be at the Scooter Farm, Claremont, all those places I'm going to be exploring all around San Diego, so I'm super stoked for that. But you guys are here for the Q&A, question and answer. You guys asked a bunch of questions, I'm going to shout you out, read the questions, answer as many as I can. Let's have some fun, hopefully you guys get to know me better, because I'm pretty new to YouTube, I'd say it's been less than six months since I'm doing this. Let's try to get like 20 likes, I don't know if that's possible, I don't think I've ever got 20 likes, but let's do it. Also, sorry if the lighting's a little, like, eh, you know what I'm saying? I'm sorry, I'm trying out here. So, we asked questions on Instagram and TikTok, I'm going to go to Instagram first. The first question is by ad.in.da.garvey and he asks, do you skate faster with short hair? Man, I don't really know how to answer that. Probably not. I'd say the answer to that one is no. Looks cooler though in my opinion. The next question is by Anthony underscore Thomas 640. He asks, did you work anywhere before scootering slash YouTube? No, I'm actually only 17 years old and I've been scootering since I was like 10 or 12. So I've not really had a job other than that. I've babysat, I've walked dogs to like get money for like my tattoos and other stuff and like flights. But other than that, I've not actually had a real job besides scootering. Next question is also by Anthony underscore Thomas 640. Why did you start scootering? I got a lot of questions like this. The answer to that is Basically, my neighbor, his name is Owen, he got a lucky prospect complete, and I'd also honestly been riding razors around my street for years and years before this, and I was like, oh my god, that's a real scooter, and I thought it was super sick, and I wanted to try it. After that, I got my first complete scooter, which was the Mad Gear scooter. I can put a picture right here on the screen. It was like the blue, tealish green combo. I think Lucy Davis is riding that deck right now. That's the deck that I started on, and it's crazy to think that I'm on Team Mad Gear now. It all comes full circle, what can I say? But basically, I just started to have fun with it, try something new, learn something, and hang out with my friends. Connor underscore duh underscore boy asks, is MGP going to make SIG parts in the near future? MGP has SIG parts. MGP has a Juzzy Carter deck. They have Jordan Clark decks as well. I think they're gonna be making signature parts in the future. I'm not sure if it's the near future. Just stay tuned, and if you guys wanna cop the Juzzy deck, use code back 10 Next question from Connor underscore da boy again asks, how do you feel about all of the recent Mad Gear drama? If you guys are unaware, there's been a lot of Mad Gear drama circling recently about their sponsorship applications. Basically, you can get sponsored by them by turning in an application, and there was a lot of controversy, people saying it was bad for the scooter community, giving people like incentive to like need to get sponsored or something like that, like they were just doing it for money. And honestly, I don't really have much of an opinion on it. Mad Gear, does so much for me, like genuinely when it comes to flights, parts, they will ship me stuff in three days, fly me anywhere I need to, pay for all my comps, they're so good to me and the things they're teaching me in terms of, as you guys know I'm hosting the Mad Mondays and in terms of content, they're teaching me so much and helping me grow so much and all I know is they're a good brand and they have a good heart. Obviously funding is hard, funding is difficult. But I think that they're just trying to give little kids a chance to get sponsored. Although some of you may think that it's coming from a bad place. I honestly think it's coming from a good place. Maybe they need to do some thinking with the corporate or whatever to change some things if that's actually worth it and what it's doing in the scooter community. Maggie's trying their best. They're not bad people, I promise you. And that's all I really have to speak on it, personally. Anyways, let's go to the next question. What trick gave you the hardest mental battle? This is asked by my homie Alex.Herman with like four ends. I would have to say it's backflips. 
I learned backflips in 2016. It's like my first post on my Instagram and I couldn't do them for years. And then I relearned them in like 2018. Couldn't do them for years. And finally, like this year, I got them consistent to concrete, to wood, whatever. So I would definitely say backflips. J Birdie underscore underscore asked, how to win worlds? Don't ask me, homie. I do not know. Montalavo.nico asked what my max bench is. I actually don't bench. It's not optimal. If you bench or you're going for PRs in the gym, good for you. But personally, I'm going for strength training. I don't want to get hurt or whatever because scootering is my main priority. I want to get stronger for scootering. So I don't bench. I'd say when I have benched, my max is like 95. So Demonte2022 asks, have you ever rode tall bars? My bars are 26 tall right now. I don't know if that's short. I don't think that's too short. But no, I guess I ride shorter bars. Sour.patch. Underscore kid asks, best deck you have ever ridden besides MGP? Easily fusion deck. I snapped a lot of them, but they were good decks. He also asked what my favorite air trick was. Inward air, for sure. Love that one. Nikki underscore wheels with a Z asked, how long have you been riding? I've been riding for like six or seven years. Aiden C88 asked what my favorite trick is. Whip around rewind. Harry dot T dot underscore asked, what is your dream trick to learn in the future? My dream trick to learn in the future is double backy. I want to be the first girl to do it. Sean dot Coy with two Y's, that's my boy said, how old were you when you started riding scooters? I'd say 11. Viv Lo Cicero, that's also my boy, asked what my favorite tattoo was. I'd probably say the new one I have on my arm, this one, this moth. Lauren underscore scoots two, also the homie, asked, do you think you will continue scootering into college? Yes, 100%. Looking at going to Arizona or San Diego for college and full time pursuing content creation and professional scooter riding. No, I am giving this up. I love this sport and if I could make it a job, it wouldn't even feel like one. So 100% Lauren, yes. Scoot underscore R said, what made you start scootering and what motivated you to keep doing it? What motivated me to keep doing it is how fun it is. The feeling of like landing a trick, the feeling of rolling away, the community it has, like editing, posting, getting like feedback, the, all of it. It's just an amazing sport and I'm so glad that it found me. Colin dot scooters with a Z asked, what's your best trick? <sighs> Quad finger air? I think that's a pretty good trick. JD underscore scoots dot 21 asked, who is your favorite scooter rider? Gus Reimer. Gus Reimer. Gus Reimer. If you guys don't know him, OG. OG. He needs to come back for sure. Matthew underscore Winnemore asked, what is your first scooter and do you still have it? My first scooter was the Mag Year Complete that I showed in the beginning of this video and no, I do not have it. I think I turned it into a trampoline scooter. Good Bros SMX asked, what's your favorite thing to do outside of scootering? Personally, mine is flips. Working out for sure. I'd be working out four or five, even six days a week. I love working out. That queer underscore 05 asked, what drives your passion for scootering? Fun. Having fun and being successful. For sure. All right, that's all the questions on Instagram. We are going to move to TikTok. Let's see what we got. Let's see if there's any that we haven't already gone through. How did you learn flares? They look so funny. Asked by saxlima.mp4. I honestly didn't do them the foam. I sent them straight to Resi and they look whack. I will admit that they don't look good, but I can do them pretty consistently. So they'll get better once I get more comfortable with them. I know that for a fact. What's your local asked by Gabby.rides. My local is Maplewood Skate Park. It's like five minutes from me, but I never go there. The locals technically that I ride constantly are Bloomfield and East Orange Skate Park. Fire. I can't kickless asked, what's your favorite deck? Mad Gears MGX deck is by far my favorite deck. Five wides. May one Coes asked, how can I be as good as you? Slash get as good as you. I don't think I'm that good, but practice. Put in the work. You got it, bro. It's.braden.v asked, are you sponsored? Yes, I am. I'm sponsored by Magyar Action Sports and the Scooter Farm. The best sponsors in the world. My Zaz Jilin asked, favorite warm-up trick? That would have to be probably bar whip. And they also asked, what is your, what trick do you absolutely hate to do? That would probably be whip bars. You guys know if you watch the videos. All right, guys, that's all the questions I have right now. I hope you guys enjoyed my Q and A. If you want me to do a V2, I can in a few months, whenever you guys have more questions and there are more homies subscribed to the channel. But if you guys have questions about me in the comments, drop them. I'll answer them. Let's have a conversation. Let's talk. Anyways, like the video, subscribe. If you're still here, 
comment that you're still here. I want to see who's watching these videos all the way through. If you're still here, comment kickless in the comments. Let's see who the real ones are. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, later. Sorry if the lighting was bad that entire video. I don't know why my room looks like this, but... Anyways, now for real go.